Hey everyone. So a few weeks back, Bose announced that the existing QC35 lineup was going to get updated with the Google Voice Assistant in the QC35 Series 2. And as it turns out, that was pretty much all they updated. It was just this button that integrates with the Voice Assistant. So let's check it out and see if it's worth the upgrade. In terms of the construction for both of these, uh, by the way, these are the QC35 1s and these are the 2s with the brown ear pads. The body is still made of uh, glass filled nylon, which is very durable. And you can see these I've had for over about a year and they don't look a day older than the QC35 2s, which I've had for about a week now. So uh, good to see that stay. The upper portion here is made of uh, leather. And then the bottom here is kind of an Alcantara, which has remained in the new one. So in terms of construction, pretty much identical, but the button is the only real big difference. The QC35 twos are equally as durable and they pretty much resist any sort of flex or wear you can put on them. So the gist of these really kind of seems that they didn't update anything. So uh, if you think about it, you know, physically, this is just a button. When you actually hold it and press in order to talk, and by the way, you do need to keep it held down to actually speak to the voice assistant, it basically uses your phone in order to uh, process all of the data that you're sending to you know, Google. So there's really physically not much new about the headset. It's kind of a missed opportunity for them to make battery life updates. Um, they're around 20 hours. Some of the competitors now are pushing the 30 hour mark, which is uh, you know, a great thing to see in a, a headset that you primarily use when you travel. They also missed the mark on updating to Bluetooth 5.0, which has been out for um, the majority of this year now. Even on the old pair over here, uh, when I put them on, the center button here, if you hold that, it's not the same exact implementation, but it does basically the same thing. It's not gonna read you like your notifications and stuff, but to be honest, that's not a very worthwhile feature. So yeah, really a missed mark for them to update a lot of the hardware. As far as I can tell, they haven't really updated anything in the new pair in terms of noise cancellation or sound quality. You do have the ability to pair this button to uh, the noise cancellation feature now, which is you know low, high, or completely off. And so that is actually useful um, when I'm just kind of wearing them around. I do like to be able to kind of switch the modes. If you're in a high wind scenario, the low function works pretty well. If you want to actually be able to hear people around you, then you know turning it off is good. Um, that feature was available here. So really all you're getting is the ability to pair it to this button and have easy access to it. I think having the button for Google Assistant, I sometimes switch to pairing it to that. Uh, specifically when traveling, it is kind of useful to like call people, ask questions, check your flight time, all that. So I do like having the button, but at the same time, that's really the only update they made between the two. Also, this was really somewhere that they could have implemented USB Type-C, but they uh, lacked out on that as well. Here's a bit of a sample of some commands you can do and how it works. When does the NBA season start? 18 NBA season begins on Friday, October 20th, 2017, and ends on Sunday, June 17th, 2018. Read me my notifications. You don't have any notifications right now. In terms of the two cases, uh, they pretty much haven't changed much. So you can see that this logo that's stitched here is now just kind of flat and flush with it. And then on the inside, the biggest thing you'll notice is the lack of the travel adapter here for the two prong airplane um, plugs. You know, this isn't really that big of an issue um, because these actually are pretty much redundant. And also, I mean, when was the last time you were in an airplane and they made you use this thing? Um, but definitely a cost cutting endeavor by Bose here. So guys, to answer the question, Definitely not worth upgrading to this if you uh, are just getting into the you know Bose QC35 market. Then sure, maybe spend the extra twenty dollars and get this. 
but really not a huge reason to upgrade in my opinion. There really isn't a big appeal towards this one versus this one. They're basically the same thing and in terms of the technology you're getting identical, you just get that extra button for the voice assistant, um, but there are workarounds otherwise. So guys, if you like you know, wireless headphone comparisons and reviews, i uh, definitely like to see your uh, opinion on what you'd like to see next. Um, stay subscribed if you'd like to check those out and um, drop your comments on whether you think this is uh, kind of a half-assed uh, a new approach to the market that Bose has taken and if you think it's kind of worth the upgrade. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.